But on the other side is the Columbus Lions. Comeback winners last week, back-to-back -back title winners. 17 National Arena League Trophy. I tell you what, Saleh, being there yesterday, seeing the way the guys on both sides reacted when that trophy got unveiled, there's something real about the when you title the first time on their home turf. Lindsey Wolf's kickoff is away, and we are underway. Eric McIntosh catches it on the back wall, heads to the left, gets a block around the corner. A flag is down as McIntosh gets out to about the 18-yard line before getting During the return, holding, receiving team, number 81. Half the distance to the goal. First down. Take it five-yard line. Fleming back to pass for the first time tonight. Has a motu. Makes a man miss out across the 15 up near the 20-yard line. Fleming stumbles, rights himself. Drop pulls it down, takes off to the 20 to midfield. Goes along the wall, gets pushed out there, but not. Second down and three for Jacksonville at the Columbus 22-yard line. Fleming with a clean pocket, has him moving with the 10, and he dives forward inside the five-yard Three receivers left with Williams in motion. Hand off Ross running right, and this time the boss gets into the end zone as Jacksonville strikes first. Here comes the one. It's a big boy. Big bowling ball and big Ross right there. I mean, you got to go low to be able to hit this guy off his mark. It's on the kickoff. More on that later. But for now, he's on for his first PAT attempt and knocks it right down the middle. So just like that, Jackson's and the Columbus offense with Michael Reeve in motion. Espinoza over the middle has Tristan Purifoy into Jacksonville territory. Purifoy, the former Shark, in as well. And, of course, the Sharks can get after it on the defensive side. Espinoza has Purifoy at about the eight yard line, cutting this way and that to get down. Watch number 18, Michael Reeve in high motion. He's the NAL Offensive Player of the Year. And this ball is intercepted off a deflection by Mishai Robinson. Robinson at the 10 yard line at the 15, cutting back across the field to midfield. Robinson at the 20, at the 15, the 10. Uh, Mishai Robinson. With a Great job. job. First and goal for Jacksonville from the 10 yard line. They Pitch to Mo Williams with some running room, and Williams loses the football. It bounces off the back wall and is recovered by Columbus. Mo Williams was diving for the end zone and lost the handle just before the goal line. Second down and six for Columbus. Espinosa under pressure and goes down. Keith back. Saw opportunity to make a tackle and when and made a tackle and created a play for my teammates. Was lucky for, uh, enough for Logan here to force enough to get the recovery. Yep. And we're back in the ball game right now. Just a yard shy of the goal line. First down, Damian Fleming has his man. A nice pick off the ball in the ground there. A great catch by Williams and heads up to get the first down as well. Fleming pump fakes over the middle, actually toward the left, and has Williams along the wall. As Damian Fleming kind of looked off the team a whole lot, but kept it going, and Jacksonville finds themselves in this spot. They throw it back to Wilson, who gets hammered by Griswold. Because those, those corners could slip and make a big play. Another swing pass to Wilson. This time he gets a couple of yards, spins forward, and the ball comes out again at Columbus. As Espinosa looks right, has his man Purifoy, who makes one guy miss, gets out toward midfield and has not lost the game. Seven wins in a row for the Lions. As on third down, it's a wide open Fortson. Espinosa for Reeve, has him at the five yard line and Michael Reeve gets a surge kick there in the Jacksonville bench with his helmet on. Fourth and goal for Espinosa and the Lions. And that one is broken up by Jabari Gorman. A tremendous stop. Williams in motion for Jacksonville on first and five. Fleming has Devin Wilson and makes a diving catch going across the middle. It's a Wilson on first and ten. Fleming to the right. Has him moved and catches it on the run. Gets inside the 15-yard line. They'll hand it off to Ross running left around the corner. Derek Ross diving forward inside the 10-yard line. Raising his hand, this ball's headed in his direction. Instead, they go to Williams, who throws it back to Ruffins, and there it is, a touchdown for Jacksonville as Mo Williams throws it back to Mo Keaton. 
I don't think Columbus was expecting that one as Ruffin sold the block, went to the corner. Fletcher leading the charge for the Sharks pass rush. Espinosa on second and long, has Purifoy, and he'll get by Charlie Hunt and almost. It's Michael Reeve in motion for Columbus here on first and 10. Espinosa under pressure, oh! and that one is Jacksonville for the NAL championship. Quick pass on third down. That's a first down to Omodu, who stays on his feet at the 20-yard line. Ifi Omodu in the Columbus. Fleming under pressure, throws to the left, and that one's intercepted in the end zone. What a great play by Kyle Griswold, and that nine seconds, one timeout for Columbus. Another quick pass from Espinosa has Fortson, and Jacksonville, the Sharks will be kicking off from left to right as Columbus is back deep to receive this one, a bouncing end over end squib kick from Belcher. The Lions start this drive at their own seven yard line. Espinosa to Purifoy, who makes McIntosh miss, and then lowers his shoulder to get outside the trips left. This time the ball's on the turf. That's for sure. Espinosa under pressure and he goes down yet again. All the fans, the ninth man for a reason here in the NAL and a wide open Tristan Purifoy hauls in a long touchdown for Columbus. Espinosa takes a big hit on the back end, but a long touchdown pass for the Lions. They get on the board for the first time. Concentrate on the ball and make that tough catch there. Someone didn't go deep for Jacksonville, and you see Purifoy all alone in the back. Wolf on for the PAT. His kick is up and good. Ruffins on the trick play. Handoff goes to Derek Ross, running up the middle, keeps his feet to get about 10-7 for Jacksonville from the six-yard line. Fleming, plenty of time with the ball, is bad at Trinity. Third and seven for Jacksonville. Fleming under pressure, looks deep to the left, has Mo Williams over the wall, and he makes the catch. There's a flag down in the back here in the third quarter in Jacksonville. Fleming steps up, fires, hits Mo Williams at the seven-yard line. Williams dives forward. For but you got to commend Sears on that red zone play. Fleming keeps himself, dives forward, stays on his feet, pushing for the goal line, and he doesn't get there. Mo Williams in motion for the Jacksonville offense. And he fires, and that one's caught. What a grab and a touchdown from Mo Williams as Jason Boltis steps in and fires a touchdown. All Williams had to do was just turn around and catch the ball. You can see how he just got it in that little small window, but it was enough. You got to give that quarterback credit there. Great throw by Boltis, and how about the concentration for Williams? Great catch. Belcher on again, this time going for just one point. His kick is up and right down the middle. After all that, going to get another playoff. Espinosa off to the right, looking for Fortson, who breaks one tackle and dives near first down. Yard. They spotted the 15-yard line. Now a toss to the left on second down. Has Fortson, who gets hammered. The helmet. <laughs> second and goal, Espinosa for the corner. Has Reeves. And that's a Columbus touchdown with a flag down. For the first time, we see Michael Reeve getting in down as Mason Espinoza throws it up to the 6'8 Michael Reeve, who uses his reach to haul in the matchups now and get Reeve more involved. Every time Mishai Robinson, number one, goes against him, you know, it's, it's, it's a no brainer. You got a depth and called on in a tremendously huge spot here. Boltis fires, has his man out across midfield. That's Devin Wilson in the Columbus territory. Wilson with a block inside the 10 yard line. Third and goal now for Jacksonville. Boltis to the right, has his man. That's a touchdown, Devin Wilson as Jason Boltis throws. We get another look at this one as Boltis look left and then didn't have to look off his defender there as Belcher's kick. As we've come to expect here in Jacksonville, an opportunity for the Jacksonville defense. Espinosa off to the left, it's a trick play, and Joe Marshall is wide open. Marshall gets all the way out to midfield before he gets chopped down by Misha. Perfectly dialed up as the fullback leaks out of the backfield, and Deron Neal finds him for a big game. And it worked for big plays. You said it, Xander. 
Espinosa gets his pass batted for the Lions tonight. Jacksonville's offside. This will be a free play as they go deep for Jarman Fortson, who goes over the wall and pulls it in for a touchdown. Tell you what, what a great catch. Well, bounces that one in. The PAT is good. Another look at Fortson, who goes over the boards for the touchdown to pull Columbus back within six, getting the ball and hanging on to it. I'll tell you what, the only way to get good at it is to, to it hasn't change much. They've just relied on their players to get it done. As Boltus gets it done, firing to Mo Williams. Screen pass to Ross with some running room, gets blockers downfield. Derek Ross to the 10. Derek Ross inside the five yard line. Now they send Devin Wilson in motion. Bolt is back to pass, looks, fires to the back of the end zone. That one's intercepted. Second and four from the 23 yard line. Espinosa to Purifoy. In traffic, makes a man miss, gets into Jacksonville territory. What a Columbus driving with a chance to take the lead. Espinosa to the left, has Purifoy, sneaks by a man. It gets pushed out as much as it can, but you also got to score. You know, it's 20, you're down eight. Second down and goal. Espinosa loses the football, and the Sharks recover. It's picked up for Jacksonville. Jeremiah Price, and the Sharks take over with four seconds left. Mason Espinosa loses the handle. Four seconds here, Xander. So now it's on to Jason Boltis. And he'll take the snap, and this is exactly what it'll be. Boltis drops back to pass, fires it deep into the stands, and the Jacksonville Sharks are the inaugural National Arena League champions. Congratulations, Jacksonville Sharks.